All right, so right now I'm just going to draw the child. So I'm doing it the torso portion of it as an oval. And, uh, and I'm, you can see the crosshairs. So the crosshairs are gonna be very important. For, so I'm doing a crosshair for the, for the, uh, the crosshair circle for the, uh, the arms and uh, just a circle for the, uh, where the neck area is going to be. And also a oval, not a circle, but an oval as to where the cranial of the head is going to be. Right, and so right now I'm just uh, drawing the, the eyes, and uh, the eye usually uh, uh, is like diagonally, like uh, aligns with like the center of that oval cross here that I have on top, where the, the head is, and I'm using that that other circle, which is like near in the middle, to uh, indicate the uh, the neck, you know, where the neck is going to be, and I'm also going to go more into detail as to what what uh, all this means as well you know so so yeah so soon i'm going to be grabbing a, uh, a marker right so i'm going to be grabbing like a, a marker to show you guys and to indicate where things are so this is the green marker right and the green marker is usually aligned to the back of the ear you know i'm you in the middle the middle section of the, the bottom cross here of the circle, the bottom cross here circle, the middle section of it usually aligns with the, the back of the ear and the front of that cross here circle, for or at least for toddlers, it aligns perfectly with the cranial at the at the center of the cranial. Only for toddlers, this only, this only applies to toddlers. But almost always the, the green arrow that that section that I mean the green line usually oh almost always aligns with the back of of the head of a human at, towards any at any uh, age that the back of the ear I mean at any age you know and I'm gonna show you guys like an, an example of that All right, now so right now I'm doing a preteen version, and I'm drawing the torso, and I'm drawing the cross hair circle, and I'm using that. Uh, I'm also using another circle just just for measurement, just to just to show you guys like distance. But you know, I'm just drawing the the uh, the cross here, and I'm mainly using the cross here where the arm is coming out, and like the 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 cross here for like where where I use to indicate the neck and the cross hair for the cranial right so the the cross hair for the uh, cranial is going to be like an oval cross here so yeah so right now I'm using the I'm using the that section over here to like measure where the where the air is at where the back of the air is at so I could get like a distance as to where to find the oval of the center of the cranial so I could have it uh, aligned perfectly. And so unlike the child, the the child has a good, a perfect alignment with the uh, with the front of that cross here. But for for like a preteen or something like that, or something like this, uh, you can see how it's not perfectly aligned with the the oval cross here. So so I usually use the the center of like. The the bot the, the the circle cross here where the arm is coming out. I use the center of that to to like judge where the air is coming from, so that I can like have a a gist as to where the center of the the oval for the cranial is at. And so right now you're seeing me doing some a little bit of like doing some muscle because you know as 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 you grow your muscles or your body starts to develop more compared to a child they don't have that 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 uh, that muscular uh things they don't have the, the muscular uh formations going on because they're still young they're not uh developing and so the blue highlight that i'm showing you guys uh you can see how it's it's not aligned like how the toddler is. It's not it's not aligned to the circle the center of the of the oval cross here. 
you know it's, it's pushed back a bit more forward you know as it, as it, uh, as the body is uh, developing you know and so I'm also going to show you guys like another like just an example of uh, this re re reforcing the the crosshairs so this bottom cross here is where the cert was where the arm is coming from and you can see how I'm leaving a bit more space you know to create uh, the second cross here okay just yeah leave a, a little bit more space don't put it too close together unless there, there, there are certain scenarios you do put it close together but in this one now don't put it too close together and uh, and also the two circles the two uh, crosshairs that's uh, measuring where the neck and the arm uh, it should be the same exact size you know it should be the same exact size and as you grow in age it should it, that circle should those two circles should increase so I'm doing two crosshairs right now and I'm showing you guys uh, you know the alignment so that so where the neck is I'm showing you guys where the bottom chin should be aligned with you know and where the, that that uh, that uh, that neck should be so the bottom chin is aligned with where the the transition of the the back and the neck starts to happen all right and so the green mark I'm again I'm just showing you guys where I'm using the center of the, the circle cross here in the bottom to, to know where the back of the air is so I can get a, uh, a little calculation as to where to find the, the center of the oval for the uh, for the head or the cranial because you know the air the back of the air is all almost always uh, at that uh, at that direction no matter no matter the age okay and also likewise for when you're using the bottom the bottom chin to align it with the, the back it's also something to use as for for any age you know and so again I'm just highlighting uh, in red like the, that chin uh, the bottom chin area and and yeah and remember that it also aligns to the to the to where the transition of the back of the neck is at so the back of the circle cross here of the arm in the at the bottom the back does not doesn't align perfectly with the oval on the uh, on the on the uh, the head or the cranial it's like it's kind of it goes like a quarter into it you know you know this 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 is shown on on toddlers like age five and or preteens like age 11 and 13 you see this uh, you see this uh, happening sometimes or you you know all, almost almost always uh, and when when you reach adulthood that's when the the back of the arm and all that that's where it uh, that's where it aligns with the back of the cranial but at this moment we're drawing a toddler or, or preteen. Uh, the arm, the back of the, the back of the uh, of the arm or that circle area, uh, the, the circle crosshair doesn't align perfectly with the head of of the child or the or the preteen. You know, the toddler or the preteen. And you can see here the two the two circles in the bottom, the two crosses in the bottom. They're usually static; they don't move. And the oval on the top it usually moves a bit. So the only thing the the two circles in the bottom the only thing you should like uh, like kind of pay attention to mainly is the increase like they do expand in size as as they grow from toddler to to preteen to adult to to to, uh, to like max muscular uh, structure of a person. And so right now I have two crosshair circles and the shading that you see here is where I am estimating and calculating where the center of the oval is for the head and where the back of the ear is at, you know. So the back of the ear again is, you know, aligned to where that the center of the shoulder crosshair is at. So I'm using that to like, you know, guesstimate where, where, uh, where you know, where things go, etc. you know.
and so I have the uh, the oval. This is where the head is is uh, is at, and this is low for toddler, uh, medium for preteen, high for I guess uh, teens, and max teens to like uh, young adults, and max for a more muscular uh, structure. You know. And so right now we're going to be doing the high, and the high is like uh, young adults. So let's say 16 to 18 to 19 ish. So this one, I'm going to be drawing a female. And again, I'm just using the same exact uh, principles that I've been, uh, that I explained before. So just, just watch what's going on. So as if, if I'm drawing the female, you know, it's going to be a lot more uh, curve, less muscular, but same, a bit same, a bit similar. Uh, this one, the red mark here, the red arrow was a bit of a, uh, was a, was a mistake. There should, there should be distance, a bit of distance, like I showed before, uh, between the, between the, those two, uh, circle cross hairs. But in this scenario, it's not, it's not that big of a deal, you know, but just, just pay attention to that. Uh, note, note that that was also a mistake there, but, uh, yeah, just pay attention. And the neck, the neck should be, you know, a bit longer. If there was a bit, if I included more distance, the neck would have been just a bit, bit longer there. But yeah, so right now, just drawing, and for the back of the arm, or the back in general, again, it should be uh, curved because of female. But yeah, for the the cross here for the arm, for the the cross here for, you know, the back of the cross here for where the arm is supposed to come out. Uh, this in this scenario this is when it starts to at least align <clears throat> with the back of the cranial for the oval there you know and also i think i should have made the uh the head for that female a bit uh bit uh, wider a bit bigger but yeah not, not that big of a deal but it should should be a bit uh bit more bigger than that but again the back of the cross here i'm just showing you guys an example that where the blue highlight is, it aligns now. Now it aligns with the back of the head. And so the green arrows that I'm showing you guys is where the throat is coming from in this section of the crosshair of that circle of the neck area, you know? So for toddler, you can see how that crosshair, how the neck, how the throat is not going too close to the center. And for medium and high, they're both similar to each other. And as for when you go to max, where, where you have a muscular structure, the throat is pushed back more to, to the back of that crosshair section, if you can see that there. Because the throat, the, the neck is pushed back as well, and the, and the chest is pushed up forward. And there'll be an example of that coming up soon. And so right now I'm going to, you know, I'm doing the, the muscular, muscular version, you know, so, you know, the max, the max version. So you can see how the crosshairs are more increased and I'm doing the exact, the exact same thing. Essentially uh, it's just changing in size. So right now, again, I'm going to be, uh, you know, drawing the, the oval, oval crosshair, you know, and I'm also uh, measuring where the air is at. And the eyes are much smaller when, when you uh, go into, into adults or it gives the illusion that it's smaller, you know? And also the, the back of the, uh, the circle, the back of the cross here for the arm is aligned to the back of uh, the cranial you know because we're going into more adulthood now so so yeah and again I'm just doing the same uh, exact thing and the red arrow that I'm showing you guys right now is just an, another is just another example of where you should put where your uh, push back the uh, your neck area uh, or, or your throat it should be uh, in that division of the cross here and also uh, for muscular people, you don't want to, uh, this time, uh, don't put any distance between those two crosshairs, you know, they should be, uh, squished in together, you know? So for toddlers, preteens, and young adults, 
you would want to have a bit of distance but for when you're drawing a muscular a muscular uh, person uh, don't put uh, don't put as much distance it's more there's more compact going on and the chest is being pushed up more which is pulling pulling the neck back a bit So in terms of uh, body alignment, the the torso is usually aligned like behind the the eye of the toddler, you know, uh, behind the eye of the toddler, the torso, and for the child, they're the front of the oval, the the head across here is usually aligned with the, the front of the torso, as you can just see how how that's uh, that's happening now. You can see like uh, the the images of what's going on. And usually for 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 the the, the preteens and, and the young adults the the alignment is usually the same. The oval is usually aligned with the uh, the, the head oval is usually aligned with the front of the of the torso, usually. And so with with muscular figures, which I'm going to show later on in this, uh, the head is pushed the, the neck is pushed back more, you know. And because the neck is pushed back more, the front of the torso is pushed up more. It's like beefy. The muscle, the muscles, like you know, is, is showing you. It's like right there. It's popping out. So because it's like popping out, muscles popping out. The chest muscles popping out. The alignment is somewhere in a quarter of like where the head, uh, the front of the oval of the head is. And so right here, I'm just showing you guys some of the differences, like just a review of what uh, what was uh, what what I mentioned in the video. So for the red arrow that I'm showing you now, you can see how it's squished together compared to the other, the first three, which have a little bit of space. But yeah, for the blue, it's again it's close up. For the red, it's uh, they're far apart in terms of measurements. So yeah. And so that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what you think about the video in the comments down below. Uh, also, was this uh, tutorial good? Did this help you? Uh, did you? Was this confusing? Um, yeah, leave so in the comments down below. And peace.